Stocks falling hard on this final day of trading for the month. All three major averages now negative for the year, and we started in such a promising fashion. Today's drop comes ahead of another busy week for earnings next week. The last of the FANG stocks reports after Monday's close. So BK, Alphabet? That would be one of them. So it's kind of an interesting setup here, right? If we were, if we were just going into this without this sell-off, you might say there's going to be a sell-the-news event. I actually think you could have the reverse here. We've had quite a drop in, in Google. We know that, the face, that Facebook's ads weren't horrible. Of course, their revenue wasn't what they wanted. So if you're thinking there's a duopoly in digital ads, Alphabet is one to buy. And I also happen to think that sometime next week, there's going to be opportunity to buy this market as monetary stimulus comes in. And again, what have been people buying all year? Google for the growth. So I think on any weakness going in, even if it's Monday before the earnings, I think you can buy Google ahead of those. Well, it's, to me, I, it's not going to be a question about whether the fundamentals are going to be good. It's not going to be a question about, look, we've gotten some sense from Facebook in terms of the ad revenue. We've gotten some sense uh, in terms of Microsoft, in terms of cloud. Uh, look, if the site's revenue, which I think is probably going to, with tough comps, going to come in better than expected, uh, and think about the holiday traffic we had, uh, I think it's a very important time. I think for Google also there's a driver with the change in leadership, a more shareholder-friendly approach is part of also a re-rating of the company. I, I believe the transparency that people, investors, have wanted to see for a long time as part of it. But it's going to be about the market dynamics because, again, if you think about what was reported this week in the other trillion-dollar companies, um, it, it hasn't really mattered. And it also felt like last year you, you had a, this huge political headwind for Google. That seems to me to have dissipated for now. There's other issues that Capitol Hill is worried about. You're, you're thinking about impeachment now. You're not thinking about... Google, you might be thinking about Facebook, you might be thinking about a host of other social companies or a host of other large cap tech, but it seems like Google's getting a pass now, which could mean higher prices for the stock. Quickly, time. Ty, you know, you weren't here last night. We had David uh, Faber it? hosting the show. Oh, you oh. did? Oh, my goodness. We waited as long as we could for you. You didn't show. <laughs> you didn't show. So Faber was happened to be in the neighborhood. But yeah. last night, the Amazon reported, is obviously you're aware, because you talked yeah. about it at length today. And we talked about it. Steve talked about this last night. Tim talked about it. Take a look at where Amazon closed today. Why do I bring it up? Because take a look at where it closed in July of 2018 and in August of 2019. Basically, 2011 and 2012 closed to 2008 today. So it's fascinating that once again, we're up against these levels, maybe on five times normal volume today, five times normal volume, maybe we did put in that short-term top in Amazon. Hmm. All right, we're going to take a quick mm, break because we've got a market home. flash in the biotech sector uh, from Meg Terrell. Hi, Meg. Hey, Tyler. We're looking at shares of Amune Therapeutics. They are up in the after hours as the FDA is approving its peanut allergy treatment, uh, up now about 9.5%. This is the first treatment for peanut allergy to be cleared on the U.S. market, and this really is a way to try to prevent allergic reactions to peanuts. It is not a treatment like the EpiPen for the anaphylaxis, that allergic reaction to peanuts. Uh, up now more than 10% for Amune Therapeutics. Tyler, back over to you. All right, Meg, this is, uh, I think, the first drug that really has been shown much uh uh, efficacy against peanut allergy. Is there a way to trade this? Should you get in? It's yeah, up 10% in the after hours. I, I, I mean, I, on this desk, I know it, it, my partners at work, it seems like one out of every family has a peanut allergy. I think this is potentially a huge deal. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on this. I have to dig through it. But up 10% for such a prevalent problem, I think is nothing. Any other thoughts there? On no, I think, I'm sorry, BK. Well, it, it just it up up 11 percent for something that has such a, a huge addressable market. It was what Steve's saying. I think it, there's either something that we're missing, or the market is just asleep on this because it seems like a massive market for this drug. All righty.